Hello, hello, it's Let's Talk Tuesday. So let's talk about safe spaces, I guess would be the right word. Um, so there's this common dialogue on the internet, um, and now even in schools, involving safe spaces or echo chambers versus possibly engaging in dialogue with people who might disagree with you. First, I want to say I definitely feel I understand where someone thinks it is better to engage with those who disagree with them or have different beliefs than you. I even have, um, I made a video about opening up dialogue a while ago, um, and I'll link it here. Uh, but while I do believe that it is important to have open dialogue and open communication about things we disagree about. Um, I also believe that people, specifically those in marginalized communities and those with mental illness, are entitled to create their own safe spaces um, and particularly in order to protect their mental health um, and that it's a matter of accessibility, especially within the education system. And that's a whole conversation. I've actually talked to some professors and um, they're overwhelmed with new rules about providing trigger warnings and stuff like that. It's something that definitely has to be discussed. It's something that has to be adapted to. Because guess what? When people found out in 1990 that they had to build wheelchair ramps, they reacted the same way. They reacted like, oh my god, I don't want to spend money on building a wheelchair ramp. I don't care if people with wheelchairs get into this building, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of the same way this works. That's kind of the same thing that I'm seeing, which is people like, fuck your safe spaces. I don't care if you feel safe. If you want to feel safe, you can go home. But then you're creating an inaccessibility issue. Then you're saying that students with disabilities, students with mental illness aren't allowed equal access into school? If you don't need it, that's the biggest thing. If you don't understand why somebody would need a safe space or would need a trigger warning, then you're lucky. You are privileged if you don't understand why someone would need it. But there are people who need it. There are people who are sick who are disabled, mentally ill, people who've been through trauma and are literally triggered by certain content. It is disgusting to me that the word triggered has become a joke because equal access is not a joke. Equality for people with disabilities and mental illnesses is not a joke. If people need time, if people need safe spaces, if people are in need of trigger warnings, then that's what they need. That's called accommodating disability. That's called accommodating mental illness and trauma. That's called accessibility. All right, so I'm sure the opinions on this are all gonna be very different. Um, and I hope that we can engage in some respectful conversation in the comments. And I will see you eventually.